Anybody out there? Hello? Hello? Guys? Guys? Oh, this is, this is no bueno. This is no good. Hey guys, it's Last Pro Heacon here. Just checking back in with kind of like the second episode of the series of Stranded Deep that I have going on. It's going to kind of play off of both the original Let's Play I had and also the survival tips. So I'm going to kind of incorporate me showcasing what the new hotfix patch has to offer and then also showing you guys some advanced survival tips, eating, surviving, finding different food sources, all that jazz. So thank you very much for watching. When you get to your first island, you're probably going to have three different sources for food. Your first is going to be your potato plant. To harvest potatoes, you need to hit the plant a couple times, pick up the potatoes, voila. The second is any palm tree will have coconuts. Now all you need to do is simply click on a coconut, it will fall, you just need to keep hitting it. Now we can drink it, so we'll go ahead and drink it, and you can put it back on the ground and keep hitting it until it splits open. Now you have something to eat. Coconuts are probably the most viable food in the game because you can not only drink them, but then also eat them. The last type of food you're going to want to be able to eat is crab. Now in order to get crab, you can really hunt it any way you want as long as you have an object to hit them with. We'll showcase it with the spear. So we have our crab, we left click to attack him, we're going to left click him again to harvest him. You're going to then want to take your crab and set him over the fire. You can also put him on a spick if you have a fire pit and cook him that way. But right now, we'll just let him cook this way and we'll hang on for a bit. It'll take you probably about a minute or so to actually fully cook the crab before you can eat him. A few moments later. Takes a little while to cook up, and take him off. I don't know if this is actually the crab for me. If I don't get sick, I got sick. Another survival tip is that you are for sure going to want to be to find a compass as soon as possible because when you're in situations like this where you look out and you see nothing, you're going to want to know what angle you came in from and I know that I came in from the southwest-ish, like right past that boat, so I'm going to chance it. I may die, but it'll be worth it in the end. For the big content edition or bug fix, however you want to categorize it, um, that many of us probably saw from playing the first week of Stranded Deep is or was the rock disparity. Just seeing all these rocks right now on an island that I just walked up onto is just a godsend. Any of us who are watching right now saw the rocks, the rock placement from a week ago to what it is now is just amazing. I mean, when you first started on an island or went to really any island, you maybe got two rocks on a good day. On a good island, there was about two rocks on there. But now there's just an abundance of rocks everywhere you go. So you can make those fire pits, you can make those spears, those knives, those hammers, those axes, whatever needs rocks, you can just go to an island and take all the rocks to your heart content. So, sweet, sweet rocks. Thank you, rock gods out there slash developers. We greatly appreciate the rock edition. It was a huge help for us. Alright, next thing I'm also going to bring up about this game is that you have much less time to swim underwater. And that first patch, oh man. Ooh. 
in the original release of the game, uh, in point oh one, you and I see this is also another problem, but in the original release of the game, you did could swim underwater for quite some time without really having to worry about drowning, but now they only give you I don't know, like ten seconds maybe below below the deep and then you're 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 cooked, you're done. So, I don't know, that's much more realistic. Good for them on that. Look at this magnificent creature. I'm like Poseidon right now. And I got, oh, I got a, I got a shark who wants some beef. But not with me and Nessie. Can't touch me. Yeah, you can't mess with me. Oh, God. What are you? Good, Nessie, you are so loud. Oh. 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 Nessie, no! Nessie, no! Oh. Oh. oh, gosh. Oh, man. Hey guys, Last Bro Heacon here with Game Gamut, and just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video below. I will be posting more, um, maybe with some more deeper content. I know I missed out on some of the newer things like building a motor or finding the new Easter egg that they implemented. I will definitely do my best to see if I can find them. Um, also, give me your suggestions. Let me know what you want to see. I'd love to know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, you know, I'm only here to grow. We're only here to grow. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Always appreciated. Deuces.